In this video, we're going to start the CUDA software Infinite Algebra 1 free worksheet multiplying polynomials. I'm going to split this worksheet up into three videos, doing numbers 1 through 8 in the first video, followed by the next 8, and then finally the last 8 problems, which will get us to number 24, the last problem on the worksheet. So our directions are to find each product. In number 1, we're multiplying a monomial, the 6v, by a polynomial, 2v plus 3. But the single term in the monomial has to get multiplied to each term in the polynomial, which we know is a binomial. So the 6v is going to get multiplied to the 2v, and it's also going to get multiplied to the 3 with addition in between the terms. So I'm going to draw that out again. The 6v gets multiplied to the 2v, and then it's added to the 6v multiplied by 3. Writing that out, we'll have 6v times 2v plus 6v times 3. If we were to do 6v times 3 first, remembering order of operations, multiplying, then addition, 6v times 3 is just going to be 18v. However, 6v times 2v, we're going to multiply the coefficients together, so the 6 and 2, to get 12, and then we're going to multiply the v's together. Remembering how to multiply variables with exponents, as long as they have the same base, so let's say we have a to the x times a to the y, that's going to be a to the x plus y. So in our case, we're going to have v times v, which v is simply v to the first, and this v is also v to the first. So we're going to have v to the 1 plus 1, which is going to be v squared. So 6 times 2 is 12, and v times v is v squared. So our final answer is 12v squared plus 18v. Let's move on to number 2. And number 2, we're multiplying our constant of 7 to negative 5v, and we're also multiplying it to the 8 with subtraction in between. So we're going to have 7 times negative 5v minus 7 times 8. 7 times negative 5v, we're going to get 7 times negative 5, which is negative 35 times v. So negative 35v minus 7 times 8, which is 56. Negative 35v minus 56 is the solution in number 2. On to number 3, 2x times negative 2x minus 3. Again, we're distributing the entire term 2x to each term within the polynomial. So 2x gets multiplied to negative 2x, and 2x gets multiplied to 3, and there's subtraction in between. So rewriting that, we're going to have 2x times negative 2x minus 2x times 3. And I'm going to put parentheses around this negative 2x so you know that this is not subtraction because it can get confusing when you have multiple operations in a single expression. So this is negative 2x, not minus 2x. So now, like before, we're multiplying the coefficients. So 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. And then we're multiplying the variables. x times x is x to the first times x to the first, which equals x to the 1 plus 1 which is x squared. So it's negative 4 times x squared, which is negative 4x squared. And then we're subtracting 2x times 3, which is 6x. Negative 4x squared minus 6x is a solution in number 3. Moving on to number 4, we're distributing the negative 4. It gets multiplied to v, and it also gets multiplied to 1 with addition in between. So we have negative 4 times v, which is negative 4v, plus negative 4 times 1, which we know is negative 4. However, we can rewrite this as negative 4v, and as opposed to saying plus negative 4, we can say minus 4. Negative 4v minus 4 is the solution in number 4. In number 5, 
we are now multiplying a polynomial by a polynomial. So we're multiplying this binomial 2n plus 2 to this binomial 6n plus 1. Now when multiplying by polynomials, each term in the first polynomial gets multiplied to each term in the second polynomial. So for instance, this 2n will need to get multiplied to 6n and multiplied to 1 with addition in between, as well as this 2 getting multiplied to the 6n and to the 1 with addition in between. There's a trick though when multiplying binomials together, and that trick is FOIL. First, outside, inside, last. What that means is you're going to multiply the first terms together, then you're going to multiply the outside terms together, then you're going to multiply the inside terms together, and then finally you're going to multiply the last terms together. So just like we were doing, that 2n gets distributed to 6n and 1, and that 2 gets distributed as well to the 6n and 1. FOIL is just an acronym for remembering the steps. So first is 2n and 6n. So we're going to do 2n times 6n. On them, we're going to add the outside, which is 2n and 1. So 2n times 1 is next. Then we're going to add the inside, 2 and 6n. So 2 times 6n. And then finally, last, 2 and 1. So we're adding 2 times 1. Then we're going to go ahead and simplify. 2n times 6n. 2 times 6 is 12, n times n is n squared, so this becomes 12 n squared. And then we're adding 2 n times 1, which is 2 n. And then we're adding 2 times 6 n, which is 12 n, and then 2 times 1, which is 2. However, we're not done. If you remember in the previous worksheet, we simplified polynomials by combining like terms. The 2n can be combined with the 12n. So simplifying this, we're going to have 12n squared plus 2n plus 12n is 14n plus 2. And that's our solution in number 5. Moving on to number 6, we're going to FOIL again. First, outside, inside, last. That'll be 4n times 2n as the first terms multiply together, plus 4n times 6 as the outside terms, and then inside 1 times 2n, and then finally 1 times 6. Now we're going to do the multiplication. 4n times 2n is going to equal 8n squared, because 4 times n times 2 times n we can do 4 times 2, which is 8, and then n times n, which is n squared. And then we're going to add 4n times 6, which is 24n, plus 1 times 2n, which is 2n, and then 1 times 6, which is 6. And just like the previous problem, we can combine the like terms. 24n and 2n can be combined together. So we're going to have 8n squared plus 26n plus 6 as our final solution in number 6. In number 7, we're still multiplying binomials. The only thing that's changed up is that now we have subtraction. For me, in order to keep track of operations and signs, I like to have everything in terms of addition. So in doing that, x minus 3, I think of it as x plus a negative 3. And 6x minus 2, I think of it as plus a negative 2. You're more than welcome to work in terms of subtraction. I just think it's easier to keep track of operations if you do everything as addition and then switch it in your final answer. Again, this is a matter of preference. We're still doing FOIL. First, outside, inside, last. I'm going to do x times 6x 
then I'm going to do x times negative 2. And remember, since I switched to signs, everything is going to be addition in between the multiplication. And then I'm going to add negative 3 times 6x. And then lastly, I'm going to add negative 3 times negative 2. x times 6x is 6x squared. And then I'm going to add x times negative 2 is negative 2x. And then negative 3 times 6x is going to be negative 18x. And then I'm going to add negative 3 times negative 2 is a positive 6. Combining like terms, the negative 2x can be combined with a negative 18x. So I'm going to have 6x squared and negative 2x plus negative 18x is negative 20x. But as opposed to adding the negative 20x, I'm going to subtract a positive 20x. And then all I have left to do is add the 6 at the end. So my final answer for number 7 is 6x squared minus 20x plus 6. And lastly, number 8. I prefer everything in addition, so I'm going to add a negative as opposed to subtracting the positive 2. Foiling again, 8p multiplied by 6p, then 8p is multiplied to 2, negative 2 is multiplied to 6p, and then negative 2 is multiplied to 2 with addition between each of those. 8p times 6p plus 8p times 2 plus negative 2 times 6p plus negative 2 times 2. 8p times 6p is going to be 48p squared. 8p times 2 is 16p. Negative 2 times 6p is negative 12p. And negative 2 times 2 is negative 4. And I can combine 16p and 12p. So we have 48p squared plus 16p plus negative 12p is the same as 16p minus 12p, which would be a positive 4p. And then, as opposed to adding negative 4, I'm just going to subtract that positive 4. So my final answer for number 8 is 48p squared plus 4p minus 4. Continue on to the next video for another portion of this worksheet, but before you do that, remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions, please feel free to comment below.